Hey guys, Suburban Home Nut here, and today we're gonna do a little bit of maintenance on my sprinklers. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and clicking the like button. Now we should be watering our lawns about two to three times per week during the growing season. And that means putting down about a quarter inch of water per application. But sometimes we start getting brown or dead spots in our grass and we start thinking, well, I just need to water more but there might be something else going on with the sprinkler. The sprinkler could be clogged up with goop and debris, which isn't allowing for good coverage. To check and clean the sprinkler head, this is what we need. An old toothbrush, a small container with just a couple inches of water, vice grip, and last is needle nose pliers. First, of course, we need to locate the sprinkler. We can use our fingers or the pliers to gently lift up on the center shaft. We take our vice grips and attach it right here. Now, we don't need it to be really tight, just enough so it doesn't retract. Remember, this is plastic. It can easily break. Next, we can unscrew the top and remove it. Now we have access to the filter. Using our fingers or pliers, we can remove it like this. You can also replace these if you need to. They're only about 50 cents a piece. If it's dirty, we can rinse it off in the water and use a toothbrush if it's really bad. Once the filter is clean, we put it back and screw the top back on. Now you might think we're finished, but we have one more step, and that's to make sure that they're properly adjusted. These have little holes that you can see right here, and that's where the water comes out. If the hole is incorrectly lined up, the grass is not gonna get the coverage it needs. Now for sprinklers on the sidewalk, this is really easy, but if you have a line of them along the house like this, and I have them here, you're probably gonna get wet. So grab a pair of shorts and have at it. All of these need to be adjusted when the sprinklers are on, and we simply turn them until we have the coverage we need. And once they're properly adjusted, you're set, at least for another year. I recommend inspecting or cleaning your sprinklers once per year. You can choose spring, summer, fall, whichever is most convenient for you. So before you start increasing the water time, it's a good idea to take a look at the filter screens in your sprinklers. Thanks for watching.